Hi, this is Ramachandran from OnlineMathForAll.com. In our website, uh, OnlineMathForAll.com, students can find video tutorials like this, which will be much useful for them to prepare for competitive exams like GMAT, GRE, CAT, SAT, and more. Okay, this video is about uh, solving difficult problems on logarithms. Okay, so here we are going to see uh, how to solve some difficult problems on logarithms. Uh, we have a problem on the board that is um, if log x to the base 2 pass to log x to the base 4 pass to log x to the base 16 is equal to 21 over 4 find the value of x so understanding uh, this kind of problem is not difficult because uh, it's a simple problem I mean uh, the information given in the question is simple and also the target of the question is very clear so we have only one information that is log x to the base 2 pass to log x to the base 4, pass to log x to the base 16 is equal to 21 over 4 and uh, the target of the question is uh, to find the value of x ok I will show you how to solve this problem uh, please give me a moment ok as soon as uh, this problem is seen by the students uh, immediately the students what they will do is uh, uh, they will try to apply fundamental law on the left side of the given equation because we have three logarithms are added so whenever three or two or more logarithms are are added we just have to take only one logarithm and we have to multiply so the terms x x x in this way we have to do so because we have a fundamental law in logarithm that is um, log m positive log n is equal to log of m times n so if two or more logarithms are added so we can take only one logarithm and these two terms to be multiplied so this is what uh, said by the fundamental law but uh, to apply this fundamental law in our problem there is a condition that is uh, if two logarithms are added and if you want to apply the fundamental law so both the logarithms must have the same base uh, if the base of the first logarithm is 10 the base of the second logarithm also must be 10 and in the resulting logarithm also the base will be 10 so then only we will be able to apply this fundamental law that is if two logarithms are added we can take only one log and we can multiply the terms m n so the important condition is the base for the first logarithm or uh, any given n number of logarithms the base must be same but uh, in our problem on the left side even though three logarithms are added uh, base for the first logarithm is 2 base for the second one is 4 and base for the six, third one is 16 so the base uh, for the given th three logarithms are not same so we cannot apply the fundamental law what I told you now anyway I'm just going to take the equation we have in the question that is uh, log x positive uh, I mean log x to the base 2 positive log x to the base 4 positive uh, log x to the base 16 is equal to 21 over 4 this is a question we have I mean this is a equation we have in the question ok in logarithm uh, for example consider a logarithm log a to the base b so for this one we can assume there is a denominator that is 1 so not only for logarithm for any value we can assume so there is a denominator 1 so now uh, on the right side of this one uh, we have uh, log a to the base b uh, divided by 1 so in my next step uh, I would like to write uh, this 1 I mean this denominator 1 as numerator this numerator log a to the base b as denominator if I do so I will have 1 at the numerator and I will have log at the denominator but here I have to make a simple change that is uh, I have to interchange these two values that is uh, log b to the base a so whenever we want to write uh, any logarithm at the denominator so we can uh, assume there is numerator 1 but uh, when we write that particular logarithm at the denominator so these two terms to be interchanged so here we have uh, b as base but uh, in the logarithm that we are going to write at the denominator the base must be a I hope the students can understand this concept in logarithm so this is a concept I am going to apply uh, in my I mean in our problem on the left side of the equation okay now uh, so we have log x to the base 2 I'm just going to apply the trick what I have explained you now so if you have logarithm uh, it can be written as a fraction with uh, numerator 1 
and at the denominator we can have the same logarithm but uh, these two terms to be interchanged this is a trick we are going to apply now so if we apply this trick on our problem we will have 1 over log 2 to the base 6 because these two values to be interchanged so here we have uh, 2 as base but uh, in the logarithm that we write at the denominator x must be the base the same thing I am going to apply in my second logarithm that is 1 over log uh, 4 to the base x I mean in the third logarithm we have uh, 1 over log 16 to the base x is equal to 21 over 4 here the students may have a question for what reason we apply this trick so uh, I have a simple reason that is uh, in the given equation uh, for all the three logarithms uh, the base is not same but uh, when I do so I mean when I apply this trick uh, log a to the base b is equal to 1 over log b to the base a when I apply this trick uh, so I have uh, logarithm at the denominator and also now if you see all the three logarithms the base for all the three logarithm is same so that is the reason I just need same base for all the three logarithm logarithms that is the reason I apply this trick so now what I am go going to proceed the next step on the next page uh, one second I will just divide the board on a ok we have the step uh, 1 over log 2 to the base x positive 1 over log 4 to the base x positive 1 over log 16 to the base x is equal to 21 over 4 ok this 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2 this 16 can be written as 2 to the power 4 so because uh, if I write so here I will have 2 here also I will have 2 here also I will have 2 that is the reason so in my next step what I am going to do is 1 over log 2 to the base x positive 1 over log 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2 to the base x positive 1 over log 2 to the power 4 16 can be written as 2 to the power 4 to the base x is equal to 21 over 4 and uh, we have a fundamental law second uh, because we have uh, three fundamental laws in uh, logarithms uh, now I am going to consider uh, one of those laws so that is uh, log m to the power n to the base 10 or something else so we have a term and we have uh, exponent for that particular term so if you have like this this exponent can be taken in front of logarithm and it has to be multiplied by the logarithm so this re the result will be equal to n times log m to the base 10 so here the students may have a question for what reason we consider this fundamental law here because we have uh, log 2 to the power 2 here now I am just going to take this exponent 2 in front of the logarithm and I am going to take this uh, exponent 4 in front of the logarithm and multiply it by the logarithm so that is the thing I am going to do for that I am going to use uh, this fundamental law one second so 1 over log 2 to the base x plus you 1 over 2 times log 2 to the base x plus you 1 over sorry 4 times log 2 to the base x is equal to 21 over 4 ok so now um, in my next step uh, what my aim is uh, I would like to have same denominator for all the three fractions almost I have uh, same denominator but I have some uh, difference so that is uh, in the first logarithm uh, we have 1 here because there is no any number we can assume there is 1 and uh, in the second logarithm we have 2 here in the third logarithm we have 4 so if uh, this 2 becomes 4 if 1 becomes 4 uh, we will have same denominator so now the three fractions what I, for that what I am going to do is I am going to mu multiply by 4 at both numerator and denominator in the first fraction and uh, in the second fraction what I am going to do is I am going to multiply by 2 at, at both numerator and denominator uh, in, in the third fraction I am not going to make any changes because I already have 4 so now uh, since I multiplied by 4 at both numerator and denominator in the first fraction uh, at the denominator will have uh, log 4 times log 2 to the base x uh, since I have uh, multiplied by 2 uh, at both numerator and denominator in the second fraction uh, I'll have 4 uh, log 2 to the base x 
already we have uh, four log two to the base x as denominator of the third fraction. So uh, in this situation, we have uh, same denominator for all the three fractions. So it will make our simpli simplification work easy. Uh, please give me a minute. So now uh, four over four over four times uh, log two to the base x positive. This two times one will be two. So two over four times uh, log two to the base x positive one over four times uh, log two to the base x is equal to twenty one over four. So now, uh, if you see all the three fractions, uh, you'll have the same denominator, 4 times uh, log 2 to the base x. Now, I'm going to take the common denominator. So that is uh, 4 positive 2 positive 1 over log uh, 2 to the base x. I mean, 4 times log 2 to the base x is equal to 21 over 4. So 7 over 4 times uh, log 2 to the base x is equal to 21 over 4. Now what I am going to do is uh, we have uh, log 2 to the base x at the denominator. Uh, now I would like to have this logarithm at the numerator of the same fraction. So now uh, if I take this logarithm log 2 to the base x at the numerator, so these two values will be interchanged. I will show you here. So 7 times log x to the base 2 over 4 is equal to 21 over 4. Okay, now uh, uh, to get rid of this 7, 4, I'm just going to multiply by f uh, 4 by 7 on both sides. I'll show you that uh, on the next page. Please give me a moment. So, I'm going to multiply by 4 by 7 on both sides. 4 by 7 times uh, 7 times uh, log x to the base 2 over 4 is equal to already we have 21 over 4 on the right side I'm going to multiply by 4 over 7 if I do so this 4 4 will get cancelled 7 7 will get cancelled 4 4 will get cancelled 1 times 7 3 times 7 will be 21 so log x to the base 2 is equal to we have 3 now uh, I need to solve for this x so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, 2 uh, as base on both sides and uh, the existing terms uh, to be considered as power to the base what I am going to take now. Here the students uh, may have a question for what reason we are going to take base 2 on both sides because uh, for the logarithm we have in the last step uh, the base is 2. So that is the reason uh, I am just going to take uh, base 2 on both sides and uh, the existing terms log x to the base 2 will become uh, power of this 2 and this 3 will become power of this 2. Okay, I will show you here. So now I have taken base 2 on both sides. So this uh, log x to the base 2 will become power. This 3 will become power. And uh, the next step, what we are going to do? So that's our next question. So before that, uh, I'll tell you a simple thing. Uh, give me a moment. So we have, um, for example, 10 log a to the base 10. So we have a term like uh, with the logarithm. So here the base is 10 and uh, the base of the logarithm at the exponent is also 10. So whenever we have same bases like this, I mean the base we have here is 10 and uh, the base of the logarithm which is at the exponent is also 10. So whenever we have base uh, like this, so we can ignore this complete part and result of this uh, will be equal to this a. So the result of entire part is equal to a. So the reason is the base here is 10 and the base of the logarithm at the exponent is also 10. So whenever we have base like this, we can ignore this part. The part which I circle can be ignored. The result is this a. So the same thing uh, I am going to apply in my problem. So if I apply this thing in my problem, uh, so here the base is 2 and here the, I mean the base of the logarithm at the exponent is also same. So we can ignore this part. So the result is x. So, my next step will be, we'll have only x on the left side. The value of 2 power 3 is 8. So, the value of x is 8. In this way, we get the value of x. So, apart from the fundamental laws in logarithm, so we have to be knowing some tricks in logarithms, uh, which will be much useful for us to solve uh, some difficult problems on logarithms, uh, particularly in competitive exams. 
because in competitive exams you will have uh, minimum time to solve each and every problem that is less than a minute. So if you want to solve any difficult problem on logarithms are less than a minute, so you have to be knowing some tricks apart from, apart from the three fundamental laws in uh, logarithms. Uh, because apart from the fundamental law, we have uh, applied two tricks. Uh, the first trick is uh, how can we write uh, logarithm at the denominator. We can write uh, any logarithm at the denominator, but the only thing what we have to do is we just have to interchange the two values. Uh, please give me a moment. I'll go to the first page because uh, it takes a uh, bit time. Please wait. Oh, okay. Now I got it. So, so we have logarithm here. I just uh, want to take this logarithm at the denominator. So, if I take this logarithm at the denominator, I have to interchange these two values. So, this is the first trick I applied in the given equation. And then uh, I just made the denominators of all the three fractions same. Uh, and then uh, I just uh, took the common denominator as uh, 4 times uh, log 2 to the base x. Uh, students, please wait. Uh, I'll just move to the next page. I mean, second page. So after getting the common denominator 4 times uh, log 2 to the base x, uh, uh, we have 7 over 4 times log 2 to the base x. So after this, uh, what I did is uh, I want to get rid of this 7 and also 4 at the denominator because then only I'll be able to solve for this x. So for that, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, I just multiplied by 4 over 7 on both sides. Uh, I did that step on the next page, I mean uh, in our last page. So when I multiplied by 4 over 7, uh, so 4, 4 will get cancelled, 7, 7 will get cancelled. So we have uh, log x to the base 2 is equal to 3. So uh, the next step is very important. I mean uh, this particular step is uh, very important because we have applied a trick that we have in logarithm. So that is I have taken base 2 on both sides and uh, the existing values or terms uh, um, become exponents. So the reason is... Uh, uh, here the students may have a question for what reason we are taking base 2 on both sides because uh, for the logarithm we have in this step uh, we have the basis 2 that is the reason I take base 2 because I want to solve for x so when I do so I get uh, x on, uh, on the left side and on the right side uh, we have 2 power 3 the value of 2 power 3 is 8 in this way we can uh, get value for x I hope the students uh, will be able to understand uh, this problem and uh, the students will be able to do this kind of problems in their competitive exams. Okay students, uh, for more videos like this please visit uh, www.onlinemathforall.com. Thank you.